Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit is a video game developed by Frontier Developments and published by Konami. It was released for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox consoles, and for the mobile phone. A Nintendo GameCube version was in development, but was later cancelled for unknown reasons. It was released in North America and Europe in September, October and December 2005 respectively, and in Japan in March 16, 2006 for the PlayStation 2. It is based on the film of the same name by Ardman Animations and DreamWorks Animation. Topic gameplay The main characters are Wallace and Gromit, whose new company, Anti Pesto, is charged with keeping rabbits away from the upcoming giant vegetable competition, which has been run by Lady Tottington's family at Tottington Hall for 517 years. Cards must be collected to advance through the game. These can be obtained by completing tasks given by other characters, regaining the valves from Wallace's mind machine that have been stolen by Lady Tottington's suitor, Victor Quartermain, or by simply finding hidden cards. Residents of the game's various districts will give tasks in exchange for cards. The game is divided into four districts, the town center, Wallersey the harbor area, Grimsley the industrial area and Tottington Hall. In each district there is at least one arena, an area which anti-pesto must clear of pests. Arenas can be revisited at night, where Wallace is replaced by Hutch, who was originally a captive rabbit but swapped roles with Wallace after an accident with Wallace's invention, the mind o Modich. Wallace, Gromit, and Hutch each carry a primary pest-catching device, the bungan. The bungan is used to suck up pests and shoot them into a drain. Once in the drain, the pests are transported through the sewage system into Wallace and Gromit's basement, where they are kept captive. At nightfall, Gromit and Hutch can use the bungan as a weapon to destroy were creatures with a swing of the gun. Once dead, their were energy is stored in the bungan, and can be used to destroy more creatures. The were energy can also be used to stun the were rabbit. Gromit can visit Mr. Kalichi's shop, where he can purchase items to help grow the marrow that he's preparing for the giant vegetable competition. During the night, the were rabbit tends to appear at random. Gromit and Hutch must chase it down and try and stop it from escaping. However, at the end of each chase, the were rabbit hops over a barbed wire fence which Wallace, Hutch and Gromit can't get over until it is opened. As the duo progress through the game, a fortune teller, Madame Winnie Bago, who befriended Wallace and Gromit after they fixed her van, offers them tips and hints to help them complete tasks successfully. At the end of the game, if the player has grown Gromit's marrow to its full potential, a post-credits sequence plays where Lady Tottington visits Wallace and Gromit's house and awards Gromit the golden carrot. Topic reception Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit received average reviews according to the review aggregation website Metacritic. In Japan, Famitsu gave the PlayStation 2 version a score of 3 6s and 1 8 for a total of 26 out of 40.